Hello, my name is Simonaz, and welcome to another Simonaz Guide video. Today, I've got your best rogue quest rewards for Burning Crusade. We're going to look at all the best quest rewards you can get, some really easy to get quality gear. Now, if you like these kind of videos, be sure to hit like down below and subscribe for more videos. Now, let's get to it. This armor set is going to use all quest reward items, so it's very easy to get and serves as a good baseline of gear for your character in the Burning Crusade. However, it'll put you about 9.5% behind in terms of damage output compared to your perfect pre-raid best in slot gear. If you're looking to try a little harder, I have two other gearing guide videos for varying levels of effort depending on what you want to do. Links are on the screen now and in the description below. The information in this guide is based on my spreadsheet, version 2.0.35. It is not based on feelings, memories, or weaker comparisons like equivalence points that you may find elsewhere. If you want to access this spreadsheet yourself, you can join my Discord and follow the link to gain this spreadsheet, which is an excellent tool to compare gear options for a rogue in Burning Crusade. Unfortunately, there are not quest reward weapons that are worthwhile. Your best options are going to be Blink Strike, a Bind on Equip World Drop Epic, Gladiator Slicer from Arena Season 1, or Dragon Maw from Blacksmithing for your main hand weapon. They all sim within 1% of each other, so any of these options would be fine. Vindicator's brand is much easier to get than those, but it comes in about 2.5% behind. It's easy to get because it comes from the Eldor Exalted Reputation, which you can get very reliably. Latro's Shifting Sword from Aeonis in the Black Morass, both Normal and Heroic, and Gladiator's Quick Blade from Arena Season 1 for 1,125 Arena Points are going to be your options for your offhand weapon. Latro's Shifting Sword comes very slightly ahead of Gladiator's Quick Blade, and it's not that difficult to get. I strongly suggest getting Latro's Shifting Sword. Now, if you choose different weapons, don't worry. The armor comparisons don't change very much based on the weapons you choose. For your gems, there's no significant difference between agility and hit gems at this gear level. At higher gear levels, you will prefer the hit over the agility, but for now, it doesn't much matter. It's looking like Swift Skyfire Diamond will be the only meta gem option in Phase 1, but as soon as you get access to Relentless Earthstorm Diamond, that's going to be the go-to meta gem. Now, let's get to an item-by-item -item breakdown of this set. For your helmet, you're going to want Helm of the Claw from the Warlord's Hideout quest in the Steam Vaults. For your necklace, there's Earthen Mark of Raising from Gurok the Usurper quest in Nagrand. This has agility, hit, attack power, what you're looking for. If you happen to have Prester's Talisman of Connivery from Blackwing Lair, this is pretty much equivalent and you don't need to worry about picking up this necklace. For your shoulders, you're going to want Expedition Scout's Epaulets from the quest Fell Embers in the Shattered Halls. However, I was not exactly sure about the availability of this item, so here are some alternatives. You could get Azure Strike Shoulders from Capture the Weapons quest in Shadow Moon Valley, or you could get Maghar Revered Reputation Level and get Talbuk Hide Spalders, or the equivalent for Alliance would be Kurinai Revered with Blackened Leather Spalders as another good option. For your back, you want Delicate Green Poncho, which comes from the quest Bring me the egg in Nagrand. For your chest, you can use Auchenai Monk's tunic from Everything Will Be Alright in Auchenai Crypts, or you can use the Hauberk of Karabor from Varedis Must Be Stopped in Shadow Moon Valley. For your wrists, there's a really excellent option, Spy Mistress's Wrist Guards. This comes from the quest Soul Devices in Shadow Labyrinth. For your hands, the best option is Gloves of the Nether Stalker which comes from dealing with the Overmaster quest in Netherstorm. For the waist, you want Naru Belt of Precision, which comes from how to break into the Architraz, which is a quest to get the key to the Architraz and involves aspects in both Botanica and Mechanar dungeons. For your legs, you're going to want Cleftoof Hide Leggings. This comes from a long quest chain in Blades Edge Mountain that culminates with the quest Showdown. They're really excellent leggings and they look pretty cool too. For your feet, you're going to want Felbor Hide Shoes, which comes from the Cipher of Damnation, the third fragment recovered quest in Shadow Moon Valley. For your rings, first option is going to be Dissension Amongst the Ranks from Shadow Moon Valley, which gives you the Slayer's Mark of the Redemption, an excellent ring. 
Now, if you're Aldor, you can also do Death Blow to the Legion in Netherstorm, which gives you Kaylan's Signet, which has the same stats as the Slayer's Mark of Redemption. It's very good. But if you're not Aldor, we have an alternative. You can do News of Victory in Shadowmoon Valley to give you the Band of Anguish, which, again, very similar stats, very good ring. For your trinket options, the best you can get from a quest is Core of Arkelos from Arkelos the Guardian quest in Netherstorm. And the next best is Bladefist's Breaths from Cruel's Intention for Horde or Overlord for Alliance in Hellfire Peninsula. For your range slot, you want to get Mama's Insurance from the quest Declawing Doomclaw in Netherstorm. This is really quite a good range slot item for how easy it is to get. Now, here's the whole list on the screen right now. From Helm of the Claw to Blade Fist Breath and Mama's Insurance, all the items you want and all the quests to get them. This is an excellent thing to screenshot for reference and you can save it when you're leveling up to make sure you don't miss these quests. Now, how do we upgrade this set? This is the bare minimum set, you know, all quest rewards. We can make a lot of significant improvements. And the biggest improvement we can make is getting the Wastewalker armor set. At least two pieces of this. This mostly comes from heroic dungeons, and the two set and four set bonuses are very powerful. We can also get these crafted leather items called fell leather boots, gloves, and leggings. They're made by leather workers and they're bind on equip. So you don't have to be a leather worker to get these. You can just buy them. And they're really exceptionally powerful. Lots of offensive stats on these. Now, we can also use some items from vanilla. The quest reward trinkets are really not very good. All these trinkets from level 60 are much better. Mark of the Champion against Undead and Demons, Slayer's Crest, Kiss of the Spider, or even Hand of Justice are better options than the quest reward trinkets you can get in Burning Crusade. You can also use four piece of your Bone Scythe set from Naxxramas is quite powerful. Using the Bone Scythe belt, bracer, ring, and gloves is a small upgrade over the quest items. And depending on what other up armor upgrades you get, you may replace Bone Scythe gloves with either chest or boots. Now finally, Mongoose enchants are massively important. They're substantially better than Crusader, but they do kind of come from a raid. Someone else can go into that raid though, and then enchant your weapons before you step into your first raid. A pair of Mongoose enchants alone is going to give you about a 6.2% increase in damage output on this armor set. They're very good. Now, a slight disclaimer, seeing as Blizzard has committed to some changes for Burning Crusade Classic, it's possible they change something that influences this list. If anything changes, you can check the pinned comment below, and I'll be sure to write any notes of relevant changes right there. Thank you very much for watching, and remember to hit like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more videos. You can catch me live on Twitch, and you can join my Discord. Links to both Twitch and Discord are in the video description below. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.